second, let me rewind. Okay. I really liked it. I thought it was funny and enjoyable. I think both soundtracks actually fit really well. Thanks. I thought it was really good. Your exposure was really good on a lot of that. And I just liked how it flew, flowed together. And with your soundtrack, it matched up really well. I really liked when you were uh, the second time switching it to like slower speed because I could catch some of the like animation that I didn't necessarily get the first time, like her taking the marker. But I liked it. Dylan? Yeah, I agree. I, I think there were like some really specific moments where the animation was just like wildly like so on point. Uh, like when we first see the hands come up and sliding down the flagpole and when you got tackled behind the tree, it was, uh, it was beautiful. Um, but I agree, when it was slowed down, I was able to catch some of the parts where maybe it was a little sped up or it was a little unclear, uh, framed a little differently, and I wasn't sure what was going on. And um, whoever directed Dom, he, his acting was so <laughs> 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 um, But yeah, good job. Matthew? Yeah, just reiterate what people said, that animation. I, it was beautiful. There was a lot of little character. You could feel the emotion coming off of the little stick figures. They weren't flat. Huh? They were. Uh, he actually cared about. I wish you could have heard it with the original soundtrack again, just because. Yeah. Where it, where it would have lined up really perfectly. <laughs> yeah, the gaps in the original soundtrack were. Luckily, the music in the second part had some gaps in it which helped, but the gaps were really important, I thought. How about the, did anybody follow the black bar, blackboard, whiteboard dichotomy? Yeah, yeah. yeah. that was cool. I also thought it was cool that you did the like dueling banjos to kind of <laughs> help with that too. Yeah. Everybody, or everybody, did anybody ever watch Chalk Zone? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that, I got that kind of feeling like a steamboat Mickey feel too, yeah. with the way the eyes were drawn on the chalkboard guy. Yeah. <laughs> Surprisingly smooth. Good character development. Uh, you got the timing down well. That, that impressed me. And the little storyline does help to hold it together. You know, you walk out. I walk in at the end and erase it. I thought my my facial expression wasn't quite right. <laughs> yeah. We can work on that. Yeah. Uh, but the detail that you went into in the animation, uh, I was surprised that you got so much on there with lighting on a blackboard, whiteboard kind of thing. Um, and. You can do that with chalk. I mean, of course, but I've never seen anybody do it in a student Super 8 film. So, nicely done. Yeah. You may or may not be able to answer this right now, but how? I was just wondering how long it actually took to film all of that and like redraw everything so many times. Yeah, you can. Like six hours? Six or seven? Did you do it all in like one yeah. go? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we, uh, like, are we? Yeah. Okay. You can tell. We were in Munzinger, and I originally, we wanted to find a room that had a whiteboard and a chalkboard next to each other, which doesn't exist. Yeah. <laughs> so we took a, a portable whiteboard that's in uh, 102. 102. Yeah. And, yeah. and we, yeah, we took that over to Munzinger and used one of the school, the classrooms in there. And the first thing, what she's actually on is just the screen we pulled down, because the portable one's kind of small. Yeah. So we kind of cheated it for the first one, but after that. Wait, what do you just, mean you, you pulled? We just pulled down like a screen like this that they had in there, and so yes. I was just pretending I was writing, and oh. I asked like, like if it were the whiteboard or something. Oh, yeah. Nice. So it looked like you had a whiteboard and chalkboard next to each other. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we were actually working next to each other because we had it in the same room, yeah. so that we could kind of like make sure we were still sticking with yeah. the same. That but that, that's a good way to deceive the audience or get them to follow the idea that you want to start. Uh, I always struggle with that for a little bit of <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> trying to figure out how to do that. But yeah. It's a cool creative solution. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it, it yeah. works. 
I'm a little bummed on that soundtrack thing. I didn't time it. I, it like fit in so perfectly when I timed it correctly. Like the, the banjo would start getting faster like right, right as she like jumped over into his song. But, oh well. But thanks, Matthew. I really, that was a good choice. I like that choice. The Gypsy Fair? <laughs> the gypsy <song. laughs> well, the title was Sticks and Stones in German. Well, what was, you can explain kind of the reasoning of why we were going to do that. Oh. First. <laughs> Uh, the camera that I have was given to me uh, from a friend of mine who has, it's a German, the German camera, and she had, with it, there's a bunch of slides in there that have titles on them, but they're all in German. So we were going to use Endo, which, you know, End, which is, you know, scratched at the end. Um, I was actually, after I was done filming you, I was just going to go up to whiteboard and just stick that thing in front of it. But I completely forgot and just did Black Leader throughout the whole thing. So, I don't know, for some reason I was stuck in the German idea. Yeah. <laughs> It's about sticks and stones because it's stick figures and he throws uh, yeah. something instead of stone at her. And, and the, the second soundtrack kind of reminded me of like an old industrial, like German industrial band. <laughs> 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 so it, it wasn't bad. Can or craft work. <laughs> Words, yeah. And I have to say, like, I, I really, because we kind of went into it, we were both thinking like everything was going to be going really fast because oh, yeah. we don't really have a lot of experience. With it. I mean, yeah, I've been playing around with it, but I don't. The chalkboard actually wasn't too bad because, um, and actually I guess the whiteboard is the same thing. We weren't really watching each other so much, we were just standing each I should other. have like took a couple more shots because yeah, definitely mine is a little bit faster. That's why you were slowing it down because of the detail. Yeah. Which I took a lot of time making the marker go into the board and the, I don't know if you could tell, but the clay for the reverse shot, I made the clay like come out of the board, mm -hmm. but it was too fast. So. Had you done animation before? Like very little. Um, okay. I mean, and it was just computer based. Like in high school, I took a class where we were doing like flash and like very basic like flash animations. But that's about it. Um, so you stayed in this Munzinger room six or seven hours. Well, it was before we worked the because yeah. we were working the IFS, IFS that night, so we were going to be there anyway. Yeah. We just from about twelve, a little bit before it? twelve. Yeah. Um, like five forty-five. Yeah, we had to be there at six. Oh. Or six. Yeah. Okay. And we had to watch like. Yep. <laughs> and it, go ahead. Oh, oh, you guys kind of had like some Mario references. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't planned. Jumping down the flagpole. Yeah, yeah you I just um, said something. So I, I was like, okay. I yeah. Um, I just wanted to, at first. I was just gonna have like a tree and like some boxes, and for some reason, I just thought of drawing a castle, and I. It just looked like the Mario castle. Yeah. Like, you know, flag. Because <laughs> at first I was like, is that Peach and is that Mario? No. And you had like the coin noise. Yeah, the coin yeah. noise. <laughs> so. There is like a little 1,000 number that also pops yeah, in there. So uh, cool that you can't, it's hard to see when okay. it does come up. So right that was a, you know, just in the moment kind of thing. I thought it would be kind of funny. And I didn't actually intend for him to look, uh, I don't know if it was you, it was very Disney. Yeah. Look, like he moves very Disney-esque, and I really didn't expect that at all. Yeah, like that was so good. <laughs> such a but yeah, it was interesting because um, with the whiteboard and the chalkboard, we didn't have to like redraw everything every frame. You just draw the stuff that moves. So like if it was just the arm that was moving, you have to kind of erase the arm and then redraw that. But um, so I mean, I guess if they're running across the screen, you have to redraw everything. But to turn on a chalkboard and whiteboard, it really isn't that bad. You know, it would be interesting to have lapses where all we see is erasures moving around because mm -hmm. that that would look like i think water on, on the board or an interesting abstraction i think we were actually trying to get that but for some reason it wasn't really showing up that well or we were paying too much attention to yeah. the character i was actually surprised like i thought especially with the chalkboard that you would really see mm -hmm. the erase marks that i, I was looking because i wasn't trying that hard to make it clean yeah because I thought it might be kind of aesthetic, like cool looking, but you can't see it at all. Like yeah. it, it really moves, like yeah. there's nothing going on there. Yeah. And because at first um, I was gonna just have like a bucket of water and like erase it with water every time and like let, but that would have been a pain in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was covered in chalk by the end of the day. It was, it was pretty bad. So there still are some chalkboards on campus. Yes, yeah. yeah. Monsoon demands it. The only time that I noticed any erase marks, it actually worked to your benefit. It looked really cool. Is whenever you had the lines shooting out of like his head when you got excited, then it would like disappear into like a cloud of smoke. Yeah. It looked like because you could see those eraser marks. Yeah, it looked really that's cool. right. Yeah. Huh. Well, second attempted at animation.
And chalkboard animation sounds easy compared to clay figures oh, yeah. and yeah, moving stick figures. Did you have a question, Mike? Yeah. When you guys were shooting the animation, you know, you guys talked about his was maybe a little slower than yours. Yeah. What do you think that was? Was it how many like frames or clicks did you take? He took I don't know how many frames we took. Per but movement. I only took like a couple, which he took like maybe twice as long. I don't know. It did, I guess it depended on what they were doing. I, I was just kind of guesstimating. I really didn't know how many, like, um, not so much how many, because I only took like one frame per, like I only did one press on there for each image. For each said, movement? Yeah. Well, it just depended like, and how much I spread out his hand. It's like if he moved his hand, how much I moved it for the next frame. But I only did one frame at a time. It was, uh, I was just kind of yeah. guessing. Huh. Then yeah, that's that's I'm always sure you want at least like two frames for your eye for it to be smooth, but that looks so smooth. Yeah. Uh, well, two frames not for smoothness, but just for efficiency. And it, it, it works, yeah, but one frame, if the movement is slight enough, is much smoother than two frames. Because you get jumps. The more frames you do, the more jumpy it gets. So single frame would be the smoothest unless you move too far. Click. Click would be a jump, but click, 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 click. Like bit resolution. Yeah, yeah. So I, was, I was just kind of guessing on how much to have. That's what we really, uh, both of us were just kind of like, yeah. not really sure how it was. But you were each out. doing your own thing. Yeah, we wanted, that was the great thing about the idea is that, you know, she really got to take over like the whiteboard thing and kind of do it her own way, her own style, her own speed. And I got to do the chalkboard thing, my own style, my own speed. So it was very, the, the collaborative work was very 50-50. It was very evenly spread out. We both spent the same amount of time in that room yeah. working on it. Yeah. yeah, we were both editing at the same time. I mean, you know, she did the sounds. Um, you reserved the rooms, though. Did you or you, you got access to the rooms or no. something? Something like that. I asked around for. I tried to find it. Pablo told us to go to Monte. Oh yeah, that's true. Okay. So, so how was it collaborating? Said it worked out great. Yeah, since no, yeah, no, no real issue. Advantage or so? Just like like how um, you know James and Matt were saying, like you know bouncing off ideas and I don't know, just getting each other's input on things, and especially with editing too. Like that was good to have his help because you know some parts I was like, how about we do this? And he's like, no, maybe we'll be better this way. And, you know. and the sound? How did you come up with that? Um. Well, I basically. Well, you came up with like the kind of like the banjo kind of dually thing, and then I just I don't know. We kind of came up with the idea together of how we wanted it to sound, and then I just went on like a one of those like free sound websites and just found like chalkboard sounds and stuff, and I organized it all in GarageBand. Uh -huh. uh, I'm just really bummed out about the timing. <laughs> uh, it's tough to do sync sound. I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think the collaboration works, for the, especially for this particular kind of idea. Like it, it works best when you have two different people working on it, because then it really separates the two different worlds. Yeah. Even though they're interacting with each other, it's two completely different styles. Because even when the chalkboard guy went into the whiteboard, she drew him for that. Yes. You know, and when so she went into the chalkboard for that you drew her. five yeah. frames that she was diving across, oh, I drew her. You know, so it was just like really like kept everything separate just to make it, they were two very distinct places. How did you try to, when you said you had it timed up, you thought the sound? Well, we had recorded it previously when we were editing. Um, he had brought that same camera and we'd record it. And um, I don't know, I was just trying to sync it up like while I was watching the video, just on my computer and on the sound. And then, I don't like, like, what are you asking, like how I just, yeah, like I didn't know if you like recorded, you know, if you had it all edited and yeah. just recorded it with yeah, the camera. Yeah, we used a projector up there in the Super 8 room. Mm -hmm. uh, so I just used that camera and just recorded it real quick. So you recorded it before you edited it? No, we yeah. edited it, finished it up, and then just ran it through that projector once with that thing on. But that projector file. runs at a different speed. Than yeah. 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 Oh, really? Is that why? And yeah. it's shaky, too. And it, yeah, if you measure it, it would help everybody. If this one is slower, is that right? And the one upstairs was faster, or is it the other I'm one? I'm not sure. Maybe that's, well, maybe that was the issue then. I don't know. I'll be able to tell you. Okay. But mine's actually synced up to a metronome, so we'll find out. Okay. <laughs> there you go.
Good. Anything you'd like feedback on? Um, I can get a one thing that we kind of learned doing because uh, we had to have the reverse shot. Yeah. To I guess a pointer for everyone else. That's why. Um, and neither one of us thought this was going to happen, but when you flip the camera upside down, it also switches <coughs> the positioning of the character. So when yeah. she gets hit in the face and the ball comes out of the board, that's why she suddenly uh, is on the was, side. Yeah, wondering. That's another Didn't question. really think about that. That wasn't something. Well, neither one of us knew that was going to happen. We just yeah. Thinking, yeah, that makes sense. It'll yeah. seem like it's coming out, even though we were making it go into the board. Mirror, oh, that's, doing a, that's a good lesson, yeah. actually. So. Yeah, so that's. All right. Thank you. Did you guys have a title? What was the title? Stuka and Steiner had sticks and stones.